All right, what's up? Back some more videos, and in today's video, we are just a few weeks out of the Spain Pro Show. Obviously, in Spain, uh, we have a couple guys competing, and if you didn't know, I'm sure you guys have heard by now, the top three for the Spain Show qualifies for the Olympic, which is really freaking cool. I think they should have done that for a couple more shows, to be honest. I mean, I guess the lineup is pretty good. I mean, we already have, like, I think 13 or 12 or 13 guys or, you know, something like that already qualified. So three more in that lineup, uh, plus whoever wins Chicago. So you're, we're guaranteed, like, four more guys to be added to that list uh, and whoever qualifies on points. So honestly, we're probably going to have a lineup of, like, 20 legit guys. So... Probably don't need to be handing out a lot of opportunities, to be fair, because 20 is actually a good number to compete in terms of, like, caliber of, you know, volume of people. But anyway, so this show is actually pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of really good guys who are competing this show. Right now, you're looking at James Hollingshead, who is really heavy, 270. Like, I think we're about, uh, what are we, th are we a week out? I think we're a week out. We're about a week out of this show, I believe. Uh, I think, let me look at the more recent thing. Yeah. We're officially one week out today, so they're going to be competing next week, Saturday, and James Hollingshead is looking freaking amazing. I mean, he's made massive, massive, massive product uh, pro progress into the last year. I think his last show was, did he do Romania last year, I believe? He took like fifth or something. Uh, he did a show last year, but man, he's made massive improvements. And one thing I noticed about James is that he has that really dry and grainy conditioning, man. Like that that almost Dorian-esque conditioning. You know, um, not, not exactly Dorian, but he's dry everywhere. Like he's dry. He looks really hard all the time. Uh, back is dry. Glutes are dry. Quads are dry. Honestly, man, really dry. Like there's like no water retention at all. Like he's not holding any fluid. And he hasn't even like... He does obviously hasn't taken like a diuretic or anything at this point. Like he's not, he's not like on stage. Like he's not gonna take a diuretic during the entire prep up to the show. Um, naturally, he's just very, very dry, man. Like very impressive physique. Uh, he's very heavy. You know, like he's probably gonna be, you know, maybe like two sixty five on stage. That is a really, really heavy bodybuilder. He's probably like five ten, I believe. So he's gonna be impressive. He's gonna be really freaking good. Uh, I think he has a really good front double. Let me actually uh, show you. I think is there anything of his front double, man? Like I think he has a really good front double. Uh, he hasn't posted it in a while. Looks like uh, I don't know why it's a really good pose for him, but I mean, it looks really good. Like the side, man. Like the hams from the side hanging off the bone, almost like Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf. Like Dennis Wolf has some really good hams from the side. Uh, it's very similar on James here. Uh, another guy competing is Lucas Osdell. Now. I am not a fan of this guy's physique. Uh, I don't think that he has a pleasing physique, just my opinion. But he did take, I believe it was eighth at the Olympia, seventh or eighth. So if you want to talk about on paper, on paper, I believe he is. Is he the highest ranked guy going into the show? Because I don't think Rami did the Olympia last year, did he? I don't remember. I don't remember. No, I don't think Rami did the Olympia last year. So um, on paper, he is the highest ranked guy in this show. Like he is in the top 10 in the Olympia. So, um, I mean, this guy's, you know, benefit is just like conditioning. Like he comes in freaking absolutely peeled. Uh, not the best structure, not the best muscle bellies, um, not the best lines. But um, he just has stupid, 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 dumb conditioning. Uh, stupid freaking glutes, man. Uh, as you can see, the waist actually, like, it's not really thick. I mean, he's doing the best he can with what he has to work with. Like, he's not, you know, he, obviously he works hard and he does what he needs to do to get in shape. Um, but you really can't count him out because, you know, you really can't deny his conditioning. Like, he just comes in so peeled. Uh, he's one of these guys who, you know, his conditioning carries him 100%. You know, I mean, if he's not conditioned and he's, like, dead last. He needs to be completely dry, peeled on point to beat the guys that he beats. Um, I think last year he beat Akeem, um, he beat Patrick Moore, so he is no one to play around with. like, you know, he's not a good looking bodybuilder in terms of his physique, but he comes in really freaking dry, like, he has veins in his glutes, bro, like, that looks freaking nuts, man, so, he is definitely in the conversation, someone else is Regan Grimes, Regan, <laughs> 
You know, um, he's had some good showings. I feel this probably would be his best package ever. You know, um, he really kind of just getting back into men's open. Uh, you know, he tried a classic thing for a little bit, and last year he made his uh, men's open, I guess, return, and he's looking great. Uh, he looks to put on a ridiculous level of size. Uh, I think from the rare, he's probably going to be one of the best guys this entire show. I mean, actually, he might be the best. Like, you know, I think next to him probably would be, you know, Big Rami. But, I mean, from the rare, he has everything. Like, you know, downstairs is perfect. Upstairs is, like, wide, thick, and full. Um, he looks to be in really good conditioning. Training with Zane Watson. And uh, Zane looks to be putting him through, like, a hellish amount of working out, man. I mean, you know, Regan is just looking like... You know, freaking insane, man. Freaking on point. So, you know, I think he'll easily be in that top four, top five. Um, I don't know who's going to be top three at this point. Like, it's really hard to tell because you guys are looking really good. Uh, next, we actually have Samson Dauda. Now, Samson has beaten James Hollings' head before. You know, um, I think it was the um, British Championships last year. Uh, this guy took second to Nathan Diasha. So... I mean, you know, he beat James. I mean, he looks really good. From the front, he is damn near unbeatable. Like, he has... I got to show you some photos of the guy. Like, this guy has a really good physique from the front. Uh, his worst poses are from the rear. You know, he has a, he had, he's admitted that. Like, you know, his worst shots are from the rear. I don't think he looks particularly bad. I feel like, you know, maybe a little bit of uh, touching up on the actual posing itself could help him to really showcase his package a bit better. But um, he has everything. Like, you know, he has... Uh, really, really good front poses, like really, really good legs, really good quads, really good waist. He does like a really cool vacuum. Uh, honestly, he's probably the most aesthetic guy in this entire lineup. I like, look at his smile, like really good quads, like I said. Uh, I feel like he's not the biggest, you know, his arms aren't the biggest. I mean, uh, obviously he's big, like all these guys are freaking big, bro, like freaking massive. But in some, in some poses, like he, it maybe looks a bit thin. Um, now I'm not sure that's recently because he's coming off of like being in Korea for like six months and not having a consistent gym, not having consistent meals. So, I mean, maybe it's just, you know, his circumstances for the last couple of weeks and he's trying to regain what he lost. But, um, on a regular basis, like, you know, his size is pretty good actually. Um, but this guy is definitely in the conversation to take, uh, that top, you know, four or five spot. Uh, any one of you guys can shuffle around and place anywhere. Um, as you can see, I mean, it looks really good here. It looks really conditioned. And this is just like, you know, a week and a half ago or so. So, you know, this is actually very recent conditioning from Samson. So, he looks freaking on point. Uh, next is Big Rami. Big Rami has posted nothing. Nothing recent. We don't know how he's looking. We don't know if he's in shape. We don't know if he's shredded. We have zero idea. Uh, we know what he looked like back in, you know, the Arnold. Um, he looked pretty good. You know, I mean, he was uh, decently conditioned, uh, had glutes. Um, he was, you know, decent. I mean, you know, he's pretty good, actually. Uh, okay, so, yeah, like, Big Rami, I mean, you know. But we don't know what he looks like right now. So, there's nothing I can go off of right now. I can't really use any recent physique updates because he's posted none. And we have some photos of his face looking really sunken in and dry. That's kind of all we have to go off of. Um, I mean, based off of just, like, pure face, like, yeah, he looks really dry and... You know, he's doing some cardio, like, looking at him on the, tread, on the stair mask, whatever he's on. So, I mean, yeah, like, he's putting in some good work, but we just don't have a physique to look at. So, I really can't say much beyond that. Now, another guy that I didn't talk about was, uh, I believe, was Rafael. Uh, Rafael Brandeo, who is also doing the Spain show. Now, this is probably your um, solid top five here. We have Lucas, we have James, we have Regan. Actually, I think top six, right? Uh, Lucas, James, Regan. Samson, Big Rami, and Raphael. So this is for sure, in my opinion, your top six. These guys all look freaking amazing. And honestly, man, Raphael, like any one of these guys can win. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. Any one of these guys can win. They all look good enough to take number one spot. Um, obviously, top three is where you want to be because if you place the top three, you automatically get qualified for the Olympia. But I mean, in terms of winning this show, Lucas can win because he comes in peel and the other guy's coming off. Um... You know, Raphael here looks so freaking complete, so freaking perfect, not missing anything. I mean, really, really, really thick, developed lower quads, uh, really good, you know, front poses, rear poses, side poses. Like, he doesn't have any weaknesses at all. Um, he's just a freaking beast, bro. Like, look at this guy. He'll, he'll, he'll do a front double. 
a really good, uh, really aesthetic front double. Uh, probably one of the most aesthetic guys next to Samson. So, uh, man, I don't know. Like, it's it's a dogfight. Like, I have no idea who's going to be first, second, third, or whatever. Um, obviously, just based off of, like, placings and, like, who's the highest-ranked guy, I would obviously just assume Big Romney takes the number one spot. I mean, I assume he wins. Uh, I think a guy like... You know, Raphael could probably come in second. Um, I think Raphael's last show was the Arnold Classic Brazil last year where he took second to one. Uh, prior to that, he did the Arnold Classic Ohio where he took six in a very deep lineup. So he definitely could, you know, be in that number two spot. Um, I don't know, man. Like, you know, but James looks really good. Regan looks really good. Like, Samson is insane. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, this is a wild freaking show. I mean, it can honestly go anyway. So I, I can't tell you in what order these guys are going to place uh because really depends man i have no idea um samson could be second i don't even know so we gotta see but that is our just top six like that's at least in my opinion the solidified top six unless someone really comes out of nowhere and just shocks the world i feel like that's our top six right there so uh anyways guys let me know down what you think about you know the top six about you know who do you have winning what you know who's going to be in top three for the olympic qualification big rami regan grimes luke sausadil samson dauda you know let me know down below guys so anyway quick video hope you enjoyed the video like share comment down below and subscribe make it a thing sub to the boy and i'll see you next time Bye bye